Tomorrow marks 50 years since the gruesome torture and murder of Sylvia Likens. The 16-year-old was found October 26, 1965, dead and mutilated at the hands of her caretaker. 24-Hour News 8's Howard Monroe is here now uh, with how friends and family are remembering the young girl, Howard. Yeah, Brooke, you know, at the trial, they called this case the single worst crime perpetuated against an individual in Indiana's history. Family and friends said today at their gravesite that if history isn't learned, we are doomed to repeat it. This is in your honor. We love you so, we miss you. And I will see you again someday. A memorial service for 16 year old Sylvia Likens, killed by her caretaker. Thank you all for loving her. No and you, by, by being here, you love her. It's an honor. Thank you so much. It was an honor. Diana Bedwell is Sylvia's sister. About 50 people crowded into Oak Hill Cemetery in Lebanon this afternoon. Some holding flowers, some holding on to each other, all of them holding Sylvia in their hearts. I feel as if I've known her all my life. I really can't explain it. It's, it's a spiritual thing. Sylvia was found tortured in this home on East New York Street. Her parents left her in the care of Gertrude Banaszewski. Just a month later, she was dead. Gertrude made her a prisoner. Gertrude encouraged others to physically abuse her, to emotionally abuse her, and she abused her. Banaszewski was convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison. But after less than 20 years in prison, she was granted parole and released. And to know that you're responsible for taking someone's life is sure. real hard to live with. Banaszewski died five years later. I love you, sis. Back at the cemetery, Bedwell and her attorney, Gloria Allred, say the family didn't know of Sylvia's torture. Even 50 years later, the scars of what her sister went through are still there. The love and the heartache is still there, you know. The knowledge of what she went through is still there. And this did spark changes in Indiana's child abuse laws. It's been the law since 1972 that anyone who believes child abuse is occurring must report it to police. And broke today, I was told today by Sylvia's sister that people heard that girl screaming from four houses away mm. and did nothing. Unbelievable. I remember reading the court documents. It is just gut wrenching. It is. Uh, the details you just really can't get into in television. Thanks, so, Howard. Yeah. Well, uh, Diana Bedwell, who you saw in Howard's story, herself made headlines earlier this year. She and her husband were stranded for two weeks in the Southern California wilderness. 70 year old Cecil Knutson died. Officials say the couple got lost while trying to find a shortcut after leaving a casino.